Ahead of the Ondo State Governorship election, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has urged civil society organizations to engage with political parties and observe their primaries, just as they engage with INEC and deploy observers to the main election conducted by the commission. He said the INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, said when they do so, it will further strengthen civil society's advocacy for inclusivity for groups such as women, youths, and persons with disability that are underrepresented in elective offices at national and state level. Professor Mahmoud made this call while addressing CSOs at his first consultative meeting for the year in Abuja. Professor Yakubu also sees the opportunity to remind those that are yet to submit their observation reports that it is mandatory to do so, being one of the conditions for eligibility to observe future elections. He notes that going forward, the commission will operate strictly on the policy of no observation reports, no accreditation. Parties will commence their primaries for the governorship election in the next two weeks. 16 political parties out of 19 have so far indicated interest in participating in the election. I urge civil society organizations to engage with political parties and observe their primaries just as we engage with INEC and deploy observers to the main election conducted by the Commission. By doing so, you will strengthen your advocacy, particularly for inclusivity, for groups such as women, youth and persons with disability that are underrepresented in elected offices at national and state level. I want to reassure you that INEC will continue to partner with civil society organizations. We appreciate the observations and recommendations contained in your election observation reports. Responding on behalf of the CSOs, the Executive Director of Sustainable Gender Action Initiative, Mufilia Fijabi, assures INEC of the commitment of CSOs to a smooth electionary process. She added that CSOs would not relent in providing a voice for the voiceless in the society. We need for an inclusive democratic process driven by the kind of election that we all work together to have in this country. And of course, the fact that civil society organizations already work with political parties would also strengthen its observation of primaries leading to the emergence of candidates in elections. Most importantly, based on the fact that there is need for an inclusive election that truly reflects the presentation of the people we have in Nigeria, especially um, the need for more women's inclusion, youth inclusion, as well as persons with disabilities. The commission, however, states that the forthcoming off-cycle governorship elections in Edo and Ondo states will hold as follow. The Edo governorship election is to hold on Saturday, 24 September 2024, while that of Ondo state is scheduled for Saturday, 16 November 2024. Aniye Patrick, Ko, TV News, Abuja.